war was taking place. It's like when we went to the promised land. We ain't just show up and say, oh, yeah, y'all, the Lord gave us this land. Y'all can leave now, son. Now, Lord, like, look, they ain't going to leave. The war will have to go back. You feel Same thing with Christ. When he returned, he's the rightful king of kings. You would think people would be stirred enough to give up their rulership and let him rule and bring their neck up under his subjection. Yeah. But people are going to try to fight Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. All those that oppose the throne will be put to the sword. Those that are left for the other nations, they're going to grab and hold it. And they're going to see the calamity go down. Right. They're going to be grabbing hold on those that are God's children and say, guess what? I'm going to hold you. Yeah, right. I'm with y'all. I'm what I need to be doing, how I'm supposed to be worshiping, right. what I'm supposed to be. That's where it come in at. That was the plan from the beginning. Right. That was the plan from the beginning for Israel to subdue the earth and bring the one true worship of God in the earth. You want to live on God's earth, you want to have to worship him how he said. Right? He ain't sharing his glory with nobody else. No Buddha statue, no uh, mecca rock, none of that. Ain't doing that. Ain't none of that going down. You got a brother right here. Yeah, I was just going to say that he said he was going to use his people to stuff out the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be some war. People are going to be mad. You know what I'm saying? But once everything is subdued and Israel get their kingdom, the nations that's there will be servants of our God. Right. So if he's serving your God, what are you killing them and hanging them for? You can't right. kill them or whipping them and beating them for? He served your God. Right. You ain't going to have no problems out of him. Right. Right. Tend to them flocks. Right. No problem. Right. Right. And, 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 and it ain't, ain't even necessarily it's him right. bowing to you. Exactly. He knows that's what the Lord is doing. Right. 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 There we go. So that's the order that we're talking about here. Yes, there will be a war. Yes, people will be put down. Right? People want to answer for not uh, getting down with the king, but once everything is established and set up, those that are down are going to be down. Right? And that's something a lot of these groups ain't teaching. They act like it's just going to be Israelites on the earth, period. Nobody else. That ain't what the Bible is saying. That ain't what the Bible is saying. It's the Lord is living with each other now. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, what you were saying though, I was talking to brother, uh, a brother last night, and I said that you know what we do, a little piece of us want the most side to show his hand, so that people will hear what we're saying. That we want that to happen because it hurts us so much that we telling our people, we telling our people, and they ain't listening. You know what I'm saying? And we be like, sometimes we like, if 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 he make this happen to scare the people. To then come running and be like, I see what you're saying now. You know, because we want our people to know that. But he don't want nobody to serve them out of them out of like, 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 Isaiah 4 and 1. <laughs> I'm going to go to Isaiah 4. About the, uh, what, the day of the Lord and uh, what else? What are you specifically Reading saying? to be with you. you um, say what? Pulling on you. Asking to be with you. Oh, you know? for the Gentile. Oh, for the Gentile. Is that Isaiah 4 or Isaiah chapter 2? 4 and 1. 4 and 1. Chapter 2. I'm trying to take the script that if everybody what? needs Israel, ain't Israel. That's right. What, 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 what are you saying, though? Oh, you're trying to say what now? This is the second witness to that what we're talking about. Oh, them co-telling, basically? Right. Yeah, they're going to have to. That, that's what's going to happen. That's going to be their part of their salvation. They're going to have to come to a priest of God and be like, you know what? The Lord is with you. Oh, with y'all. Let us go with y'all right. because the Lord will be making provision to save his with it. You know, keep his real. Only those that are down and people will be spurred. You know what I'm saying? So what are you saying, Isaiah chapter 4? But we still in that Deuteronomy. We ain't finished that off. Yeah. We don't win whole total to let it be Okay, so get back on Come on, okay. You good? Verse 12. Yes. You got that? So Deuteronomy. We back in Deuteronomy, y'all. Deuteronomy 18, verse 11. The scriptures are talking about the Gentiles co-telling. In Zechariah chapter 8. Y'all can write that one. Verse 20 through 23. And then you can go to Micah chapter 4. Fourth chapter. Isaiah the second chapter. You writing it down? Yeah, I'm writing it down. Okay, I think I write it down what I'm saying. There you go, right here. I'm right here. He's talking about how the other nation is going to be co-telling 
all the Israelites. They don't serve our God. Go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Jesus, right here, y'all. Zechariah 8, verse 20 to 23. Micah, the fourth chapter. And Isaiah, the second chapter. It goes to how the other nations going to have to come up to Jerusalem and learn the laws of God. And had they been the true children of God over in the land, that's what we would have been doing right now. Right. We'd have been going up to Jerusalem learning how to properly serve their God. Yes, sir. The reason I was asking that is because it says seven women will, you know, that's four, yeah. But, but that's, that's, that's that in that day. Day different. And in that day, the day of the Lord, seven day. women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name and take away our reproach. That would That's what you're about? Yeah, that would be different than if we're talking about, well, I brought up seven women, and we're talking about nations, people, who are willing to be, willing to be with us. Yeah, that's all. This, this, this are the, these are seven women that'll take hold of one man in that day. Ain't no good men out here no more. Right? right? Women outnumber the men. Some people read this scripture now and be like, see, I can have 25 different wives right now. That's what but, seven virgins come from. But, but, but the thing, the, the thing, the, he's talking about Islam. But the, but the thing, the thing is, this will be in that day, those that are found amongst the living in the day of the Lord. Right? And the whole, and the whole reason behind it is for Israel to read populate the earth with righteous children. Not, not no pimping going on, no type of So in that day, sisters going to have to get on, get along in that day. There ain't going to be no more, oh, no, that's my man. Oh, I, I, not in that day. Not in that day. Not in the day of the Lord. Feel me? But not for nobody to get personal or mad. Ain't nothing about that. The Lord going to have y'all in y'all right state of mind as well as us. And, 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 and everything will be in a righteous state of mind. Right? And it's only so we to repopulate the earth with righteous right. children. Right. A woman can only have so one woman can only have so many children. Right. And do so much. And you ain't gonna have 12, 13, 14 children today in today's society. Right. And we already behind the eight ball in America. Right. You feel me? Because if a man having that many children, that many wives, you gotta have provision to take care of everything. Yeah. Right. right? You don't have that right now. Right. So ladies in that day. But right now. Nah, ain't nothing that right pop right now. Right. 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 But we talk about right now. Right here? Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1 through 11. We're going around like this. Right now, it ain't, it ain't time to play footsies and uh, pillow talk. Not at all. No, we, we, you know, we at the end of this thing right yeah, now. Gonna have uh, it on uh, yeah, there ain't going to be no uh, nasty menage of wine. Yeah, yeah everything will be, everything will be in decency and in order. Right, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take away the reach yeah, but that's in that day. That's in that day. Yeah. Like Jacob, had, Jacob had seven, uh, had six, four six, six wives. Six wives. You know, and David had eight wives. And they ain't gonna play six. But, but each one, one had they two, had their right. own own quarters. Right. Each one had their own provisions. That's right. what's fair. So so that that's the way it was, and it was a righteous order. So but they none of that you having to worry about ain't where right you already know where you're at. It ain't no secret. Ain't no point. Right. It ain't no point or nothing going on. No type of pornography going on. But not, none of that right now because it's too easy for Satan to influence that. Satan has to be locked up. Yeah, he has to be locked up. His influence has to get away from women so that they'll understand that. Right. It's right. peaceful. Right. Right. Where we at? We got more questions. I thought we were going to be I thought you said we're going to be brothers and sisters. There won't be no husband, wives. Well, that's for, for those that are dead. Yeah, the resurrection. See, yeah. when you read Isaiah 4 and 1, it talks about those that are escaped of Israel of the living. Of the living. Yeah. So this is only because they have to repopulate. Yeah. Once once you're dead and you're resurrected, you're married to Christ. You're made like an angel. You're made like, you're made like to an angel when you're resurrected. That's why when they asked him, you know, uh, this woman has seven husbands, which one would be a husband in the kingdom? He said, neither one, because they're not, they have a different order. That don't mean that angels don't marry or ain't married. It's just an order for them. This is what you do. This is how you serve the Lord. So their order will be like that. Whatever that order is, it, it has nothing to do with repopulating right. Israel. Those are the gifted set of people. Those that have died before Christ returned. 
If right. you're still alive, then that's a different lot to fall on. So this right here. So the ones that, that died are going to be angels? Resurrected, made right. like the angels. Made like them to Made like the angels. So, okay. So, during the we feel alive and we And you make it through. What Christ we comes back. When well, you die in the tribulation, same thing. Yeah. You, get a, you get a heavenly reward heavenly worthy I, over the ones that, are, that, are, 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 uh, that, that remain alive. You may remain alive because you got weak at the end. You know, Elijah killed 450 male priests, and then when Jezebel put out the order to hit him, he got scared and run off. You know, so, but the Most High saved him anyway, though, and had ravens come to feed him until Jezebel's anger was calmed down. So, in like manner, you can, you know, be pumped up, and then when true calamity hit, you can kind of fold just a bit. Everybody want to go to the kingdom, but don't nobody want to die. Right. Die for it. So we, we got an issue there. And that the for real, the, the, you died and getting resurrected like to an angel is more glorious. Right. right. You should you for real, that's what you should be aiming for, but you know it's gonna fall on certain brothers. Either way. way. But no, that, no, if, no, if we no, finish no, this no, off right here, no, uh no, Shane, no, Isaiah 4, but we didn't get to finish it off and clear it up. We're talking about those that are in the land of the living. Right. That's how you know it's not those that have died and been resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 51, it say, Let us know this, that we should all not die, but in the twinkling of an eye, we should be changed, not sleep. So, in the twinkling of an eye, Christ come back right now while we still breathe in this air. If we found righteous as, as his servants, as his saints, then our body will take a transformation. Back to what? And, and it's all what's called preternatural. Like what Adam was on. Right. P R E T E R natural. What is P R E T R natural? Preternatural. Yeah. Preternatural. It's basically the state that Adam was in what he was seen. Right. So you know he was not supernatural. An angel is supernatural. Maybe what he was in, but no, they were they were they had power and bodies of light or whatever, and they still had the ability to reproduce. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 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 so that's the difference between somebody that'll be that'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye that's still left, and then those that have died and been resurrected made like the angels. There are a lot of something totally different. Preternatural. Mm -hmm. Existing outside of nature. Mm -hmm. Exceeding what is natural or regular. Extraordinary. Extra what? Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So that's what Frida. Now, if you get into supernatural, then you move into a level of archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Uriah. They were created to do that work. Right. It's like the watchers that left their first estate and they start marrying women. They want to jump into Adam's likeness. <laughs> Preternatural. They they left their estate, which was higher, to come down lower right. just to mate with women. Right. They were lusting. Huh? Yeah, that's what they were doing. Oh, huh. it had to be. It had to be to get it up. Wow. You got your own. First. Okay. And this goes with uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 20. According to my earnest ex expectations and my hope, that in nothing I should be ashamed. But with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ should be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. But for me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Basically, again, like you say, everybody want to get to the kingdom, but no one wants to die. But if you believe in scripture, to die... It's is crossing the, the goal where, where you hold your hand on job well done, good, faithful service. Right. Right. That don't mean suicide. Right. Not suicide. <laughs> that don't mean like. Or don't take your mobile phone. Or FEMA coming and you grab your AK. And we're not talking about shooting it out with the government. That ain't, that ain't the dying he's talking about. That's like that's being persecuted for his name's sake. And they take your life. For your stance that I'm not going to denounce this book. And they may take your life for that. That's what okay. it's talking about. It don't make it heavy. But if you bear arms and, and uh, you want to pop a bunch of pills or put a shotgun in your mouth, that ain't what this is talking about. That's suicide. You got to escape. 
Got the right. spirit. Brother O. Oh. Yeah, Malachi, before you get back over there in Deuteronomy, I wanted to say you mentioned about the babies having babies. But men had, or women had 12, 13, 14 babies. And being that there is nothing you can do. I know what she, I know she's pregnant. You know, and the heathens was making, Malachi, you bring your wife up into the house. You know, Come on, slave. Yeah, and they did that. You know, and that was, they stopped them from impregnating not being intimate with them, but the baby's already there, so whatever you're doing ain't no problem. Yeah, what you, what you saying though? Well, I was just saying, we were talking about, you were mentioning about having uh, three or four babies and wives, and you know, I was just saying the reason that they had so many babies in is because you had to bring it up to the house when the man tell you. Oh, doing doing slavery or whatever. Yeah, I was remember like like uh who was that had seventy sons in the script? Like Gideon. Gideon had seventy sons. Gideon. No way that was not one of them. That was not one his daughter. Right. Man had seventy sons. Daddy, we say not even count his daughters. You know what I'm saying? So again, in that day, under that order, get your mind out the gutter. And let's stay focused. Right now, it's time to explain footsies. So now, right now, anyway. Yes, could you explain uh, the point about Jezebel? What, what, what do you want to know about her? I, Jezebel, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't want to. I'll share it with you later. But what, what was her purpose? In Je Jezebel was a woman that was usurping the authority of her man. Her man was Ahab, king of Israel. Right. You know, but he was soft too. Soft tough. But a capital T. He was soft. He was soft. He had a, he had a, uh, a Roman, no uh, Roman noodle for a spot. I thought you... Oh, he was so, so his wife okay. his wife was more bold, more strong than him. Okay. And it got to the point to where she was running back. He's making the grill yeah. with his name. Okay. Yeah. I, I say that because I was in Atlanta. Oh, now, yeah. And I... Um, I went to this church and you know how you stand up to say where well, I'm a joiner. Right. And in the when I did that, I went into the Holy Spirit or whatever. Wow. And you're the Pentecostal church. I'm Baptist, but anyway. You're the Pentecostal church. Okay. Yeah. But what happened? <laughs> Jezebel was in me. That's what the preacher told me. Oh, did he? Yeah, and I, I was in church that out at 1 o'clock. When they finished with me, it was 4 o'clock. What, he had, he had did an exorcism on you? I don't know. Right. No. Put hands on you? Right. No, but it's the pain. <laughs> sure. I, mean, I swear. I, don't, uh, I'm, I know I'm in the hospital. Uh, and I never experienced that. And it was strange because when the preacher told me, he said, somebody did voodoo in your family, and the spirit hit me. And that's true, because I called my brother that raised me. Uh -huh. And I say, who did voodoo? Because he'd go for a doctor. When you go for a doctor, you got to do a voodoo class. And my sister-in-law did it. And to make a long story short, I had never experienced that in my life. What was you feeling? What What you experienced? What? I, he no, said you had Jezebel in you. What no, was you feeling? Like it, I told the preacher, and she came out my mouth and said, I'm going to let Miss Dolly go. But I can hear you know, my father telling me, <coughs> I had to use the bathroom. I, I can't hold the bathroom. Huh? Wait a minute. I got off off the floor. I went to use the bathroom. Came back down. Finna go in my chair and sit down. And I went back on the floor. So all that was was some witchcraft going on in that church. In that church. Well, that's what I'm Wait a minute. That's why I'm asking. I, right. I well, well Jezebel that. was a Baal priestess. She was the top priest. Okay. So Baal, so she Baal, is, Baal is another god. Yeah, so Jezebel she was, she was a, a high priest. Okay. She I had prophets. That wasn't you. I know what I mean. No, no, I'm just saying. Okay. When he said that about you, mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with you. What he was doing is just grabbing the name out of, out of the Bible of a wicked woman. And that she died horrible wicked woman. Her yeah. daughter was more well, wicked I'm glad than she, she was. Me and she told me she going to let me go. Who said they were going to let you go? Who said I, I told God that lady, Mom. I was on the ground outside the church for two hours. No, I'm saying, who was doing the talking? Some spirit talk, inside of you? I, I talked. So the spirit that was coming in, you coming I out of you? I don't know. I don't know. 
And they, they so they basically exercise it out. Is that what they say? I don't know, honey. This was new to me. Well, <laughs> okay, we're just trying to figure out what you said. Yeah, that's but what you I just mean. heard about Jezebel without edification. This is no, what we that's want. One. No, she was speaking, and uh, it wasn't her talking. Almost was a, I'm understanding that, but who said Jezebel? That the. The preacher told me that Jezebel was inside of you. Yeah. If Jezebel was inside no, of you, and Jezebel talked out my mouth. I got to understand this. That wasn't Jezebel. I Jezebel. Don't know who it was. Understand? Let me, let me explain okay. it to you. According to the Bible, if Jezebel had been in you, you would have been running that church, that I service. Mean, you would have took over the let me, service. Let me let me share something with you. All through that four hours. Yeah. I walked out the church, looked back, and told them school all them. Well, you want Jezebel to be a I don't know. Well, well, that's what we're saying. Understand so the difference on play on words. No Understand this down here, whatever question you ask is going to be answered. So you have edification. There, you have no edification because you still don't know right now. So they, they didn't explain anything to you. They were just playing footsie with you, playing games with you. Because you may have voodoo somewhere in your family lineage somewhere, but that had nothing to do with the Jezebel of the Bible. Okay. She was a male priestess, so you understand who she was. I'm and so you don't get it confused if that was you. I Unless know. you're a male priestess. No, no, I'm not. Okay, and, and if you're married and you got a hood, then you're kicking him in his rear end. I'm going to my way. Like the same the all the time. So I did that. Uh, you. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. That was a trace of Jezebel. Anytime you try to usurp authority over your man, oh, no, I, whatever, I'm not that type that's Jezebel. Of not only that, he was saying that no, Jezebel, like man if Jezebel had been in you, oh, you right. would have been up in there dictating what was going on with the, up in the church. All the men would have sat down. Right. And you would have stood at the tail and oh, no, told I'm them this is talk. what's happening. That's what the spirit of Jezebel would have done. Oh, but also, her daughter was worse than she was. Athalia, she's the only one. Woman that ever ruled Israel for no, six years. Have to run, you know, Revelation. He had all kings but one woman that ruled, and That's she was wicked. Let's smack this about Jezebel real quick. Revelation 2, then we get back on our topic and we kind of Revelation 2? Revelation 2. We kind of stirred off past. I was kidding. Let's go smack this about Jezebel real quick. And then, uh, no, nah, that's good. Good question. No, because I, I, I like this church, honey. But check, check this out. We're going to go to.